uh, installing the low car emergency brake on the floor due to the uh, foot pedal on the kick panel area having to be changed to clear our hood system that uh, we put hood lift hinge system so you can see we're going to mount the emergency brake handle dead in the middle of the seat so when the uh, occupant which, which the occupant gets in the car he can just pull up on it when he's ready to rock and roll we, um, look at the emergency brake and we have it set down inside the floor preliminary but we are going to have it as close to the inside of the seat because it won't fit good right up against the console and it's going to clear the seat and what Louie's going to do is he's going to uh, joggle the seat track, the base. You can see with the handle all the way up on the emergency brake, it will clear the seat track. But where his uh, left hand is touching the, the old section he cut off from the, the seat track, he's going to joggle that over. So it'll still be stable, but yet he'll uh, you know, have the clearance he needs when the seat goes up and down. Back and forth, I'm sorry. Louie's got a little plate built under the floor to cover up the little contour. And he uh, welded in the emergency brake pocket tray and also modified the um, seat track as you can see so it joggles around the emergency brake and comes over on the opposite side. Let that come out real good. And we'll take a look underneath. Vehicle and you can see the pocket and we ended up making a removable tray so you could actually uh, service it and maintain it um, you know from underneath the car and uh, this way it allows you to, uh, you know, if you ever have to adjust uh, the cables later on, you don't have to pull the seat out of the car. And uh, this tray just goes on like this, with a couple of screws in each corner. And uh, voila, and you can just take it off to do a little bit of maintenance. Now, as you can see this slotted hole, that's where the cables are going to come off and go through first to kind of keep them track and keep them in line. And then uh, Louie built four of these uh, little U-channel brackets that he's going to weld you know, to the floor and then you'll just run the cables through there and keep it all pressed in real nice and keep them out of the way of the exhaust and uh, we'll show you once we get them up in there. Over here uh, got the emergency brake the covers on and the cables are installed and you can see Louie chose running them through the, the body factory place on this and we'll show you the little cable holders he welded on the floor. They run, they run down through nice and tight against the floor and these are only tacked in they gotta be welded in completely but gives you the idea right down to going up the floor on the inside up above the rear end and it comes over crosses down right above the nine inch and I'll show you where they exit out and hook up to the emergency brake in the back side of the calipers. Section where we came over the rear end and then the cable comes over here and of course it's connected to the emergency brake on the caliper. So there you have it. The emergency brake system. Turned out you can see how the emergency brake fits underneath the seat track and it won't hit even in the upright position and the joggle that he put on the uh, bracket itself to get it the clearance that we needed. And we'll stick the seat in just to show you the uh, how it fits. At the uh, seat back in you can see that the um, picture of this black chrome, this handle, so it's going to be barely, barely visible. And uh, when you stand back from the car you can't even tell if there's an emergency brake. But then when he, that's just sitting showing the car. But when he uh, gets in it and pushes the seat back that's when he'd need to get to the emergency brake and that's when uh, it'll have a lot better access. So it's looking good, starting to take shape. And um, there you have it.